The Lost Puppy and the Boy Who Gave Thanks. Max's heart thumped like a puppy's tail as he cradled the tiny ball of fluff in his arms. Its shivering form, barely the size of his shoe, had stumbled into his backyard, lost and abandoned. He named it Scout. An instant bond forming between them. Days turned into weeks, filled with muddy puppy paws, chewed slippers, and endless games of fetch. Scout became Max's shadow, his constant companion. But amidst the joy, a dark cloud of worry hovered in Max's mind. What if Scout's owner was searching, heartbroken? What if Max, in his newfound happiness, was holding on to something that wasn't his? His grandpa, sensing the gnawing worry, sat Max down by the crackling fireplace. You seem troubled, young whippersnapper, he said, his eyes twinkling like the dancing flames. Max poured out his fear of losing Scout. His voice choked with tears. Grandpa, he mumbled. Wouldn't it be even worse if I let him go and someone else found him? His grandpa smiled, the wrinkles around his eyes deepening. Ah,、oh, my boy, he said, appreciation isn't about holding onto things, but cherishing the moments. We don't own the stars, Max, yet we gaze at them in wonder. We don't own the wind. Yet we dance in its song. His words lingered in the air, embers of wisdom casting a warm glow. Max realized his focus on the fear of losing was robbing him of the joy of having found Scout. He decided to live in the present, savoring each slobbery kiss, each muddy paw print, each joyful bark. One sunny afternoon, as Max and Scout chased butterflies in the park, a frantic call shattered the air. Sparky! Sparky! A young girl, tears streaming down her face, ran towards them, and that's when Max recognized the lost spark in her eyes. The spark had mirrored his own when he found Scout. He knelt down, gently placing Scout in the girl's outstretched arms. Tears welled up in his own eyes, but they were tears of bittersweet joy. He watched as Scout, tail wagging furiously, licked away the girl's tears. The reunion, a melody of pure happiness. That night, lying in bed, Max looked up at the twinkling stars. He felt a pang of emptiness, but it was overshadowed by comforting warmth. He had lost Scout, yes, but he had gained something far more valuable: the knowledge that true appreciation lies not in the fear of losing, but in the gratitude for finding. He had tasted the bittersweet nectar of letting go, and it had enriched his heart. More than he could have imagined. From that day on, whenever a butterfly fluttered past, Max remembered Scout, the tiny ball of joy who taught him the profound lesson that sometimes the greatest treasures are found in the letting go. I hope you enjoyed the story. Now let's move on to our multiple choice questions to check your comprehension. Number one. Max was worried about losing Scout because a he wasn't sure he could properly care for him. B he feared letting go of the happiness Scout brought. C he felt guilty about taking a lost puppy. D he knew the owner would be angry if they found out. Correct letter B. He feared letting go of the happiness Scout brought. Number two, what wisdom did Max's grandpa shared that helped him overcome his fear? A. 
true happiness comes from sharing things with others? B. The best things in life are worth the risk of losing them. C. True appreciation lies in cherishing the present moment. D. It's better to be practical and worry about the future. Correct! Letter C. True appreciation lies in cherishing the present moment. And number three. How did Max feel after letting Scout go to his rightful owner? A. Only sad and regretful. B. Happy for the girl but still heartbroken. C. Relieved to be rid of the responsibility. D. Angry that someone else took away his joy. Letter B, happy for the girl but still heartbroken. I hope you learned something from the story. See you next time. Goodbye.